Hey, what's up there? This is Thavius Beck, and I'm sitting here with Poly and Play in a beta version of the 1.4 firmware. And uh, I've been utilizing this with MIDI devices because the main focus is on being able to use this more with MIDI. We got MIDI fills, there's a new piano roll, uh, and uh, I'm gonna show off a little bit of goodness really quickly with Play and Bitwig. Uh, I currently have Bitwig set up with three different instrument tracks that are gonna receive on different MIDI channels. My drum machine's on channel one, I got a poly synth on channel four and a bass on channel five. Uh, I want this to be controlled by play. And there's new MIDI fills now. If I go into the settings here, there's a new setting which allows me to change the way that fills are configured to work with MIDI. So now I can choose a channel and a note for uh, the kick, snare, and hi-hat. Also for a synth and bass channel because we now have melodic fills, which is pretty cool too. So uh, without further ado, let me just back out and I'm gonna press play. And I currently have this set up, yeah, so these last three lanes are for four bars, and we'll get to why in a bit. But let me select these first. So I got three lanes selected, and I want to do a MIDI fill. I'll press my fill button, and uh, sure, let's go for a breakbeat. Let's go ahead and look in here. All right, so we can see that's what's going on right now. Let's try a different breakbeat fill. So we can hear velocity variation. I didn't have to program a single note. There we go. Okay. I'm going to stick with the breakbeat fill for now. I want to change any of the notes in the note lanes, I can do that pretty easily. But instead of doing that, what I want to do is I want to choose a new note lane and use the piano roll to maybe add some additional percussion and stuff like that. So I'm going to choose this lane here and I'm going to hold view. And now I got a piano roll. So here I'm still using the same channel, so I'm still going to send notes to my drum machine. But now, all right, so now I can enter notes specifically where I want them to be. So my open hi-hat. Not that. There we go. All right. These notes are super loud, so I'm gonna hold shift and select them. And when you're dealing with MIDI, velocity oops, is controlled by volume. Now this is one thing. In the piano roll, this big knob lets you scroll the piano roll. So I have to use the proper knobs here. And let's reduce the probability that that's gonna play. And I'll do the same thing with these as well. I don't need to always hear those. Let's reduce the probability. And also maybe the velocity. Okay, cool. Let's get out of this, press view. Here we are. Okay, and actually while we're there, I'd like to maybe reduce the probability of these playing. Let's make it a little bit less predictable. Nice, okay. I wanna add a bass line now, so I'm gonna select this lane here, and we're gonna do a bass fill. This is already configured, so my bass will go to channel five, I think, which is this instrument over here, all right? So, not a beat fill, but a bass fill. All right, there's all types of different categories over here that are very cute. And I'm gonna choose, let's choose a new quest. Sure, why not? Let's go on a new quest, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna press fill. Now, the octave sounds too high to me, so I'm gonna go to notes and just drop this down. Two octaves. Okay, cool. When you go into these melodic fills, you'll notice there's three different versions of each one. So they each get more busy or less complex, etc. All right. And I'm not gonna go crazy with this bass fill right now. Uh, what I will do, let's go to randomize. And right now velocity is set to modulate the filter. So if we randomize that, you can hear it a little bit. Nice, let's save that. Okay, 
I'm gonna select the last three lanes here and I wanna do a chord progression. So that's why I set these to be four bars long. We're gonna do a four bar chord progression. We'll stay in the same genre here. So we'll choose instead of bass, we want chords. And now we do the first. See, we get like sustaining notes. If I try the third version, I'll probably get something a bit more complex, maybe more of an arpeggiator. Okay. That's this instrument over here. Now, if I want to, I could select all four of these lanes and let's do chords and bass. Let's try something a bit different, maybe something a bit darker. Now that's pretty cool. But I need this to be my bass sound. So let's go to just bass. Drop this down two octaves. Nice. And then again, if I wanna go back and change the vibe, of my mystery fill. If I go to chords. So now this is a simplified version of it, not as busy. So anyway, just a brief example of what you can do with firmware 1.4 on the poly and play. And using this with MIDI, uh, it opens up a ton of possibilities and potential. And quite honestly, this is really how I've always wanted to use poly and play. Uh, so I'm super happy to see this implemented. So uh, get your hands on the firmware and make some things happen. Peace.